When you buy your knives, they will be sharp. But through using knives, all knives go dull. Now, how do you know if your knives are still sharp? They have to go through the food without any effort. And a good test is actually to see if they go through a tomato without putting any force. This is a sharp knife. And as you can see, even a fine edge knife goes through a tomato nicely without me putting any pressure. This knife I have dulled. And you will see that it doesn't go through the tomato unless I put force like this. So to get the best results, you will need to keep your knife sharp. And let me show you how to do that. Keeping your knife sharp involves two things, honing and sharpening. When you buy your knives, they will actually have a fine edge that is really smooth. But by using them, they will get de-aligned or you will get little burrs like this. With honing, you actually push the knife edge back up. Well, over time, you will also lose steel. Now the honing won't help anymore and it won't put the edge back on. And that's when you need to sharpen your knives. But first, let me show you how honing works. Honing is actually really simple. Most block sets you buy will come with this honing steel. First of all, you want to put a towel down to secure the steel. The most important thing is the angle. This is 90 degrees. Half of that is 45 and half of that is about right. What you do is you just drop the knife and pull it towards yourself like this. You do this on both sides alternating and keep making sure that you start all the way at the heel and you hold the angle from heel to tip. You put between six, four and six pounds of pressure and you can test it by taking an old fashioned scale, putting the blade on, not your hand, but the blade and pressing down. You start with those four to six pounds of pressure and then you lighten up towards the end. Now you do each side about five to 10 times. You have to hone your knives much more often than you think. In professional kitchens, they actually do it several times a day. At home, you wanna do it at least once a week on the knives you use daily. But actually you wanna do it whenever your knife is not as sharp as you want it to be. At some point, honing doesn't help anymore and it doesn't bring the edge back onto your knife. This is when you have to sharpen your knives. There are many different things you can buy to sharpen your knives. Three of them are a pull through sharpener, a stone and an electric sharpener. And these three give you the option to sharpen your knives yourself. All of them have advantages and disadvantages. The pull through sharpener is the easiest to use and it's also the cheapest. The electric sharpener can be really good, but it takes quite some steel away from your knife, especially if you use it too often. The stone is my favorite, but you will have to learn the technique and how to use it. Now, if you don't want to deal with any of those three, you can take your knives to a professional. But remember, hone your knives regularly. This will maintain the edge and postpone the actual sharpening. And therefore, your knives will last much longer.